So we see that we get f, which moved to f prime, e, which moved to e prime, g moved to g prime, and h moved to h prime, giving us f pr e prime is 3, negative 2, f prime is 3, negative 4, g prime is negative 1, negative 4, and h prime is negative 2, negative 2, which we got from our image matrix. All right, what we should have realized, both with this example and our first example, is that when we rotate an object, it stays the same size and shape, meaning a rotation is an isometry. It preserves length and angle measure, so our image is always congruent to our original polygon. So a rotation is also an isometry. What we've realized is that a translation, a reflection, and now a rotation are all isometries. They give us congruent shapes because they're preserving both length and angle measure.